It's Sunday setup time. Hello, my friends. Welcome if you're new, and if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Y'all, it's been so long. It has been the craziest couple of weeks, honestly. I have been um, just fully emerged in my business, my online business side of things and not necessarily the YouTube side of things. And so, yeah, I've been just really busy. And honestly, on Sundays, I've been really exhausted by Sunday and I just am not up to filming if I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. Digital learning has been taking a lot out of me and it's also been fulfilling me in such ways that I didn't even realize. Um, like, I always wanted to know what it would feel like to homeschool even though I'm not comparing digital learning to homeschooling whatsoever but I did want to know like I wanted to see how my my kids learn in in class even though they're technically not in class so I'm really starting to see that it is really a huge blessing to be able to watch your kids learn and um, interact with them and their teachers so much and their schoolwork so much you know so that's how I've been looking at it for one for two there there's so many things that I need to do today for one I've got to and it's probably gonna take me two days to do this but our house is starting to get out of control again because you know, like I started decluttering upstairs in their playroom again and and then I kind of just left it and then the kids got back into the stuff and started playing with it and then it's just bags of stuff up there that need to be to get removed from the house so I've got to do that my laundry room is starting to look a hot mess again I've got to organize that this kitchen isn't horrible but girl it's it's manageable but we got to clear that off and I'm cooking dinner for my parents today. I have a baby shower to go today, uh, a virtual baby shower to go to today. So we, I have a lot of things to do to get ready for this up and coming week. It's a busy week for me. I have a lot of ripping and running to do. I have to go to the kids' school. So yeah, it's a lot. So let's just go ahead and get started. I should have taken the chicken out last night, but I didn't. I have two chicken breasts and some wings here that I'm thawing out. These chicken breasts are huge too, by the way. I haven't decided how I'm going to make them yet. I'm either going to oven fry them or bake them. And I have some Brussels sprouts I'm going to make as well. And probably some rice and whatever else my mom wants. I'm going to cook this probably at my mom's. Um, I just want to get everything that I need to get done here first. So the other thing I need to do is I am the class mom again. <laughs> I'm on the PTO board too this uh, year. And we ordered books for our class and I've got to organize I received the books and now I've got to organize them all by everybody's order form get them ready so I can go to the school tomorrow and drop them off so that is a task that hubby is definitely helping me do <laughs> right now so my office looks a mess um, yeah because I am organizing the books so I'm gonna do that so that's off of my plate and then I'll probably go upstairs and start uh organizing all right y'all so I am done with the books that was way more daunting than I thought because uh, the books are in another language and it's just it was hard <laughs> you think oh yeah I can do it and then you get it and it's like oh my gosh why did I volunteer for this like what was I thinking what was I thinking anyways okay so it's like 11:42. I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee so like it gives me that burst of energy that I'm gonna need to tackle the hallway girl because when you see this hallway when you see this hallway please don't come for me don't judge me girl grant me grace Let's get through this together. For those that have been subscribed for a while, you know how my decluttering process can be. Very, very daunting and overwhelming for me. So with that said, girl, but we just have to push through it. We really, really do. So let me go ahead and make my coffee and give myself a little kick of energy. All right, y'all, so I made my coffee. This is like my Sunday treat. So good. Um, that I make. I am still keto for those aren't who aren't following my keto journey. I am keto. Mmm. Still, so that's keto friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and sit and eat that. While I eat that, I'm going to or eat, I mean, drink that. I'm going to go ahead and plan out the rest of my day and tomorrow as well. I've been using Google Keep for that, and which I absolutely love. I haven't been planning in my paper planner for a couple of months now, honestly, because I find it easier for me to just go on to Google Keep and put my stuff in there. Now, if it's something that I need to put on my calendar, I will just put it on my Google Calendar on my phone, right? So, uh, which is new to me. 
I do miss planning. I just, my time is so precious right now and I've got to really be diligent in the way I use it. So it's just faster for me to just put it on my calendar on my phone real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get my planning done. All right, y'all. Yes, it's me. And yes, I have makeup on. Your girl cleans up well, doesn't she? I have the shower. Um, I got a lot done though. I wasn't filming it because it wasn't part of this Sunday setup, but I did get a lot done. I have my chicken ready to go to my mom's. And like I said, I'm gonna make it over there. The shower starts in about an hour. So I'm gonna put the chicken on right before the shower starts so that by the time the shower's over, we can eat. And then, yeah. That's it. Go ahead and take a good look, girl, because you know I don't put makeup on often. All right, y'all. So I'm going to be making the oven fried chicken, okay? And in this bowl here, the key to the crispy chicken in the oven is the baking powder. So I just put some seasoning in here, smoked paprika, which is my favorite, garlic, pepper, salt. I'll probably put a little bit of onion powder in there. And that paprika will give it a nice color. Okay, so here's my chicken. I'm going to wash all my pieces off and then... Put it in a bag, shake it up, and it'll be ready to bake. Okay, so the chicken wings are coated with the baking powder, everything that I showed you, and I have the, uh, it on a rack here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven, 400 degrees, 30 minutes on each side. I might do 45 minutes on each side with the breast. I'm gonna just look at it and see. All right, y'all, sorry it's so loud. My parents keep the TV at 1,000. So <laughs> anyway, I have my Brussels sprouts here, sliced in half. Then I have um, like olive oil, soy sauce. I sweetened it with Splenda, a little bit of red pepper flakes. And now I'm gonna face them down like this. I'm gonna put it in the oven. The chicken is still cooking. And I'll show you guys once it's all done. I'm gonna put this in like the same as the chicken um, at 400 degrees. So our Brussels sprouts are done. I like it so that it gets a little bit crispy. They're almost like chips. This. Um, waiting for the rice. Then it'll be time to eat. Y'all, it's time to eat. Yummy. This chicken wings in here. That was so good. The next day. All right, y'all. It's the next day. The girls are in class. Hubby's working and um, I have about an hour to get all this situated because I just can't take it anymore, okay? Don't be alarmed. This is the state of my hallway. Most of this stuff is trash or either getting donated. We were just pulling stuff out. I left it there and then the girls started playing with it again and it's just like, uh. So this is what I'm working with, y'all. Be gentle with me in the comments. I know, I know. Okay, so that's why I gotta just, I can't take it. It's been like this for probably like a week or two and it's just too much. So let me drink my coffee and get started on this. So I finished my coffee and you're probably wondering, Gia, why do you have so much trash up here? Well, my kids went through this phase where they watch Miss Froggy style, I think, on YouTube and that's one of the approved channels. I approve all of their channels before they watch it on YouTube Kids. And she makes a lot of crafts out of boxes and stuff. So literally every single box we, we would get, they would want to keep. So yeah, but at this point, I can't take it anymore. I just got to do what I got to do. Also, if you are new to my channel, when it comes to clutter, decluttering or cleaning, I do not put a full face of makeup on to clean or declutter. Um, I don't put on some tight pair of leggings either no shade um i just wear my house coat here yes it is a muumuu and i get to work so just <laughs> just a little truth bomb here so and i also don't pick up before i film you know most normal people do you know they pick up a little bit so it's not as bad but listen there's no shame in my game and we're family you know so let me go ahead and get started
right, y'all, I don't even know if we can donate this. This is leather. I mean, at least we were told it was real leather. I mean, when we bought it and it's peeling, I don't even know if I can donate this. I'm sure, I don't wanna like trash it, but I also don't wanna keep it. I'm gonna try to donate and see what they say. If they don't, if they say that we can't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just gotta get it out of my house. I have to get it out of my hallway. This was all God right here, using me to just motivate myself to get this done. And it really didn't take that long. Honestly, I was dreading that for two weeks, I told you. I was just dreading it. I was like, it's gonna take too long. I kept saying I don't have the time. I really don't. You know, it's just gonna take too long. It's gonna take too long because it just looks so much more overwhelming than what it really was. And the key was to just set my timer. And, okay, this took about 45 minutes, give or take, I had to stop to help the girls a couple times. And boom, we're done. My husband's gonna load my car up. I'm gonna drop it off at Goodwill if I can. The furniture, he said, they're probably not gonna take. I hate just trashing it though. It's like, I don't know. Um, you have to like schedule a pickup, at least in where we live, we have to like schedule a pickup like that like for mattresses or furniture and stuff. So I'm just so happy to just get this stuff out of my house. It's not going to another place in my house. It's like literally out of my house. Like there was a bag of trash, two bags of trash, and then three bags, four bags of donations um, just going through the kids' room. This was a huge step towards where I need to be. So um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I feel motivated. Hopefully that motivated you to do something that you needed to get done. Today, if you've been putting it off, just set a timer, do a little bit at a time. If you can, if you feel like you don't have the time, honestly, it took, it was so much faster than I thought. So I'm just really happy to have my hallway back. Look at my husband's reaction to the hallway. <laughs> he's on a work call, but his reaction, I had to rec record it because he's just so happy that it's clear because it was driving us both crazy. Anyway, y'all, all right, so that's it for this week's Sunday setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really miss filming these. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know how are you doing? How are you feeling? Okay, it's a lot, there's just a lot going on. And I just wanna check in with you guys mentally and know that your mental health right now should be a top priority of yours. And if it's not, you gotta do something to fix that. Okay, just know that you're enough and that you're doing the best you can. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above. You can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.